Hello, I'm Brian with GlutenFreeHomeBrewing.com. Today we're going to talk briefly about the counterflow wort chiller that comes with the grandfather. The counterflow wort chiller doesn't get talked about a whole lot. I think it's overlooked quite a bit and it comes with the grandfather and is actually a really good selling point. A lot of people are doing reverse step mashes with gluten-free brewing and a counterflow wort chiller allows you to do that very rapidly. It allows you to do it without adding ice that you're confident doesn't have any contaminants in it or water. And when you add either water or ice to your mash, you're going to change some things. You're going to change the, um, you're going to make it a thinner mash. You're going to actually change the pH uh, because water has its own pH and depending on how much you put in there, it's, it could be subtle, it could be, you know, worth noting. But the counterflow wart chiller which we're gonna install on a second because we're going from 175 to 145, we're gonna be able to do that without adding anything into the wart and we're gonna be able to achieve that very quickly because the counter for wart chiller is very efficient and it's gonna allow us to reach that second step at a lower temperature very quickly. Okay, the first step in our mash has concluded. So we're gonna turn off the pump this add the lid add the reverse flow port chiller the hose goes down the center to recirculate and then we're going to turn on the cold water and start the recirculation again. So we have the water recirculating. So we have the cold water going through the counterflow wart chiller. It's ejecting, discharging the hot water out of, away from the system and we're recirculating to speed up this process. Now that I've reached the Temperature for the second step of the mash. I'm going to. Re I already turned off the water, and now I'm going to remove the counterflow wort chiller. The pump is off. Turn the arm on. I know I did remove the lid just now. Normally you would leave that on, but it makes it easier to make videos. And then start the pump again. Add any additional enzymes at this step if you need to, depending on which enzymes you're using, and continue your mash.